Two men convicted of a 1994 murder and robbery have been ordered released from prison. Freddie Lawrence walked out of the Montana State Prison this afternoon. At his side, two attorneys with the Montana Innocence Project who helped secure his release. Lawrence has been in prison for more than two decades for the murder of Donna Marr and the robbery of the Jackson Creek Saloon south of Helena. Last Friday, a judge overturned that conviction, clearing the way for the release of Lawrence and his co-defendant, Paul Jenkins. MTN's Dennis Carlson has more tonight. In a ruling issued last Friday, Judge Kathy Seeley said new DNA evidence casts significant doubt on whether a jury might convict Jenkins and Lawrence of the murder of Donna Marr and the robbery of the Jackson Creek Saloon. At a hearing in March, new evidence was presented showing that there was no DNA at the scene matching either Jenkins or Lawrence. However, DNA did match that of David Nelson. Nelson, a known criminal with a history of violent kidnappings and robberies, is currently serving prison time for a double homicide in Deer Lodge. According to Judge Seeley's order, both Jenkins and Lawrence are to be released on their own recognizance, with Lawrence set for immediate release and placed in the custody of the Montana Innocence Project. He's to live in Missoula in housing arranged by the Innocence Project. The state is ordered to give 24 hours notice before it releases Paul Jenkins from the Lewistown Infirmary to arrange for the transportation of his wheelchair and prosthetics. Jenkins, who suffers from severe diabetes, is to remain in Montana and live with his daughter. As for whether or not both defendants will face another trial, in a statement released Tuesday, the Department of Justice says no decision has been made in the case. In Helena, Dennis Carlson, MTN News. And Dennis tells us late this afternoon that he learned that Paul Jenkins' family is on their way to the Lewistown Infirmary to pick him up and to take him home. Both men have been ordered to avoid alcohol and drugs and have no contact with any victims or witnesses connected to this case, and they are to make all future court appearances.